And do you see blockchain technology playing a role in the process of restoring gold as sound money? We've also seen projects such as the gold backs, which are bills with a very small amount of gold equal to their face value. Different people have different opinions on this. I've spoken to Peter Schiff. He thinks that blockchain technology will be involved. Alistair McLeod, on the other hand, says blockchain is rubbish and that it's not necessary. So I'm just wondering what your thoughts are there. Yeah, I don't think it's necessary. And I do think it will play a role. But I can tell you that there's been, you know, projects for the last 10 or 15 years trying to, to create a crypto backed by gold. And none of them are really succeeding. And I think the bigger problem is, is that it really isn't the business case right now. And that doesn't mean that there won't be. But, you know, the idea that, you know, you've heard of Gresham's Law, which is that, you know, the bad money in circulation pushes the good money out. So that's happened in our system. The bad money, the Federal Reserve note, has pushed out gold and silver into private hoards to no longer be used as a, as a, as a transactional currency, but really as a form of savings. And so these projects that want to re-enable gold and silver to be spent easily isn't, you know, there isn't a business case for that. I'm going to spend my Federal Reserve notes until nobody accepts them anymore. I'm not going to spend my gold, you know, unless I have to, or, you know, I'm not even wanting to sell my gold. Obviously, that's kind of the same thing when you're spending, you're, you're selling it. And then, of course, there's also taxation involved in the selling federally and in some in many states. Um, and so why? you know, spend it when I can spend Federal Reserve notes. So I think, you know, while these are admirable projects and I, I believe in free markets for all these things, and I, I think there's a business, there's there's utility of, of crypto, but I don't think there's a business case right now. That doesn't mean there won't be someday, say in a total breakdown, uh, but then in a total breakdown, are you gonna wanna be fumbling around with, you know, crypto backed gold token, or are you gonna want, you know, something more, more real in your possession or control? So I think that, you know, and the gold back is interesting. I'll mention that. We sell the gold back at moneymetals.com. Uh, we're one of the biggest sellers of it. We love it, you know, for what it is. And what it is is a fractional form of gold that's useful in the sense that, you know, you can't have a one thousandth of one ounce gold coin. In terms of being a product that doesn't exist, very fractionalized gold produced relatively efficiently. The premium is given what you're the technology and the amount of gold and the size of it. The premium is actually quite low. It is a good messaging tool. So, you know, we've been brainwashed into thinking that the Federal Reserve note is money. Everybody, oh, money, yeah, that's that paper thing that folds it put in your wallet. So then all of a sudden you get a gold back and you're, you know, it clicks for people that, wait, this is money. This is like money because it's what I'm recognized as money, this flat thing that I put in my wallet, but it actually has the gold in it. Wow. You know, so it's a, it's a sound money messaging tool. So I really like it for those two reasons. Um, but, you know, the way to really invest in gold and silver is to buy efficiently like bars and rounds, you know, larger, larger increments to the extent you can afford. But anyway, that's that's a long way of answering both of your questions. But I, I think it's there's promise to all these things. But, you know, their day has not come.